everybody back to another episode of the Book Rub Buds. Of course, I'm your host with the most true the scene machine scene, and as always, I'm joined by the ho named Joe Booty Boy Booty. Notice the throatus, the Z, and the gent with the germs is at home. Damn. Again. So Owen the Bomb Dom. Owen the Bomb Dom is at home. Yes. Yes. So tonight you just have us. When will there be all four of us again? Maybe never. <gasps> Maybe never. No. Yes. Why? Just wait till you hear the news about the new Grubbuds. <gasps> what? I mean, there's changes coming to Grubbuds eventually. Oh. We allude to it. See? We're going to have a Hunger Games style arena where all the hosts get to kill each other and the surviving two get to inherit the show. I like my odds. I, <laughs> I like my odds. Yeah. I, I think I like my so odds. Introducing the new Grubbuds hosted by me and Truman. Yeah. I say top two. I like my odds. Yeah. Have you considered? <laughs> no, Have you considered I'm not, that I'm built different? Oh man, I'm just I'm not gonna make the joke. I won't make a joke. What? Something about retard train? <laughs> I was just gonna say, have you considered that he's autistic? Yeah. <laughs> what if he hyperfixates on it? Have you considered that? Man, hyperfixates on of staying alive. Man, if only I didn't live in the country and got that blicky with that sticky. Uh, Jesus. Twenty fifteen. Well, we're doing, doing Hunger right Games. Thing. You don't get to bring your gun. Okay. 2015 is alive and well. I've been playing fucking Don't Tap on the White Tiles from high school. Oh, I'm actually... I played that at the arcade. I'm actually incredible at it. Uh, so Please I do not play it in the middle of the show. <laughs> no, nah, it'll be fine. I can talk and do it. Um, my high score so far is like 2,200 since I've started playing again in like the last well, four Can you days. go as slow as you want? Um, you have to keep a pace of like at that. least 50 per 10 seconds. Um, but you are allowed to... Damn it. You, <laughs> nice. All right. Well, He's we'll very good it. at close this. It. I know you can't, but I'll, here, I got you. Oh, I got you. Just, I don't care about your high scores. All right. Welcome, everybody, in, back into Grub Buds. Today, we're drinking. We're drinking Bud Light seltzers. Bud Light, definitely not in the news for anything recently. Haven't heard anything about Bud Light. News. Oh, man. I should have worn my fucking What Would You Do That Would Hurt Kid Rock's Feelings bracelet. That you I have. Made. A- <laughs> I made one uh, at school on Friday because clearly we were so busy. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, I DM'd the person who gives me a ride because he has like bracelet making stuff for GSA. Fair enough. And I was like, hey, can I borrow enough stuff to make a single bracelet? And he was like, what is it? And I was like, I want to make what would you do that would hurt Kid Rock's feelings bracelet. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. But yes, today we're drinking Bud Light Seltzer's Apple Slices. I was going to say, when you said that there was a new seltzer pack to try, I was excited. And then I saw the flavors. And I'm like, man, these are going to be fucking bad. There was two packs on there, and I picked the dumber of the two. There's also you. a new Sangria Mix pack, oh. that which sounds, sounds delightful. Sounds delightful. <laughs> so, so this Apple Slice, is it apple-themed things, or do they try to make four different flavors of apples? It's four different. It's like strawberry apple, cranberry apple, apple. Okay. I gotta assume it's like a sour apple. apple I think well, because well, I want to make sure it wasn't gonna be like. Let me grab the bottle. Make sure it wasn't gonna be like. And I'll say, Granny I Smith, <laughs> Fuji, <laughs> Honey Crisp. That would be insane. That would be insane, especially if they, I don't know, somehow did it. <laughs> You're like, no, this is a Granny Smith. I, I'd know that taste anywhere. The, yeah, cranberry apple, cranberry apple, strawberry apple, crisp apple, and peach mango apple. But do you guys know what my favorite flavor of apple seltzer is? The Patreon. Patreons. The Patreons. <laughs> yes, the Patreons. <laughs> patrons over at patreon.com slash open disaster. Big shout out the five of them. Ooh. Oh, you guys didn't know this. We learned uh, last week that Picarotron is no longer a patron. <laughs> damn. So, no. Uh, on the middle of Dom That's True, Owen's like, damn, we already thought, thanked him on the last episode. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, big shout out Skylar, Aaron, Joe, uh, Dylan, and Mailbox Kansas City. Now okay, opening right. the Iron District. Big yeah, shout out Mailbox Kansas Iron. City. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, but <laughs> let's get into it. Which one? Wh- all right. So I'll say I hate artificial apple in drinks. Oh boy! Like that's yeah. not good. Then I know. I got because <laughs> like fucking terrible news with for the you. fucking holiday pack. Y'all are really big on the apple crisp. I was not uh, sure. on the fucking. Uh, there's a really good flavor of energy drink. It's called Bing. They make like it's like based off Bing cherries. Uh, just the cherry one, fire. The raspberry one, fire. The blackberry one, fire. Their apple one, dog shit. Uh, apple bang, also dog shit. It's so hard to put, app, like, I don't know, like, real apple juice, flames. Yeah. Apple cider, fantastic. But, like, putting artificial apple in a drink has never gone well for me. So I'm excited to have a bad time today. Nice. <laughs> so I was going to say, hopefully you pick the end that is a crisp apple. I know. The, which end do you, would you guys like? I would like that to start one. with crisp apple, yeah. Just regular apple? Try that end. It's a guess. That's Try that end. This end? Yes. That's your guess? Mm, hold on. What, what, nope. what, what, what would we consider the top? I don't know. The top. Do it. Fuck it. 
This one? I guess. I well, guess I'll trust you. Well, because I was looking at the tab colors on the two middle rows, and they were not green. See, so if you don't it's flip at an it, end. you can make fun of Joe if he's wrong. True. And if and if he gets it right, then we'll all just be like, cool, good job, Joe, and then we'll move on. But for the rest of the show, you can complain about Joe. But I could be immortal. We're flipping it. You're welcome. I just saved the episode. He's flipped it. He's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a damn, bitch. Damn, Joe had it. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. Patch you back up flip it over. <laughs> don't want to give it to the next person. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you're, if, don't forget, you're leaving one of these in there the whole time. Uh, peach, mango, apple. There you go. Peach, mango, apple is where we're starting it. Congrats. Man, fuck it. So, speaking of juices that are fire, pineapple, apple, orange juice. Flames. Pin pineapple apple pen? Yes. Juice. Where's my pen pineapple pen? Juice is what I'm getting at. All right, or, here we seltzer. go. All right. Shoot by the way, the poor. Check the poor. So check the poor. Everybody give the cat meow. Cat's down by my feet. Would you say that that's the cat's meow? It's not enough. I know it's not enough. I was going to say that feels wrong. Actually, you know what? Based on how the can's feeling, I'm actually feeling okay about this. Well, it is based, so. That's mm. not terrible. It's yeah. too much. It's not great. Yeah. I'm actually shocked. I'm actually I'm I'm out of practice. I think I'm used to the cups. Is maybe right. I'm used to the plastic cups. Yeah. That uh, goes about right. You got it your own. All right. So the peach peach mango pineapple. Oh, hey, big shout out reading the chat. Hey, big shout out Simon Scholar. Hey, we appreciate you being back. Uh, first one that he's caught in several weeks. That which is funny because it's the first one that I'm back on that I'm knocking cans yeah, over I'll already on. Both my episodes. How dare Simon? Fifty per ten seconds is a lot, right? It's actually not. It's not. No, nah, that's a manageable pace on. Uh, don't touch the white tiles. Five a second. Yeah. Okay, peach mango pineapple. Peach mango it. apple seltzer. What? What are you tapping on? I was trying to figure out the pace of five a second. <clears throat> they have like a time mode where you can like see like how fast you can go. I like seven point one seconds. I think is my fastest for getting fifty tiles. So. Okay. Yeah. Which is a lot. Don't I can't keep that pace, but we got that fifty. Uh, so far this apple, this apple, this one's a strong story. So, tastes like apple. It tastes, it tastes, say, tastes I'm, like I'm getting much less is, peach than I am apple. I was like, it's more, more apple forward than I was expecting. Yeah, I, I think the whole pack's gonna be pretty apple forward, guys. I'm mm. good. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I don't because like apple's a very like mute flavor in general. It's like it's it doesn't like speak for itself a lot, you know. Mm. Um, and so like when you mix it with other things, you kind of lose the apple a lot. Like I like cran apple juice, but I'll be honest, it's kind of just like slightly off cranberry juice again i've been a huge proponent of the thing that makes truly fruit punch the original flavor so good is that it has more apple for it on it that's my personal belief and my personal belief is that truly's fucking dog shit i know you guys hate truly's but <laughs> while you guys they are no, 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 truly no, 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 no. off i'm with you because i believe we also agree on the fact that white claws are garbage white claws are garbage wrong that's correct that's the correct take um so the white guys, guys are fine, but they're not garbage. While you guys sit back and enjoy that, uh, let's get into a little bit of weird news. It's been a, a while since you guys. News. How was how was Vincent's weird news? Be honest with me, Joe. I missed uh, week the, two uh, was co-written by you, so if it was bad, that's on you, bitch. I <laughs> missed Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I also yeah. missed Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Yo, and we didn't do any. I, we, we, we didn't I thought about not like, bringing it back, uh, but I was like, you know we what? Didn't I'll do any prices right either. I think prices right is dumb, which is why I purposely leave those out. Okay, it's easy. It's, it, honestly, it's easy to write one. All right, so, okay, let's get into the weird news. Guys, this is what Dolly Mini, uh, this is what uh, Crayon, I guess, Crayon, Crayon pulled up after reading what headline? Wait, wait, have you seen this photo already? I did. Do, have you seen this photo already? Yeah. Are you lying? Yes. <laughs> All right. Vincent, I know, has seen it because yes. he retweeted it. Vincent, where did you see the photo? I saw this on Twitter.com slash notice Z. <laughs> Twitter.com slash disaster open. If you guys want to check out the uh, weird news photo a little bit early, this one came out uh, about 5.30. Mm. 5.30 p.m. You guys could have got it about an hour before. You guys could have been uh, racking your minds for what's going on here. Joe, what is going on here? Uh, Furbies are spying on us. Herbie, Furbies, Furbies are Furby, Herbie's fully loaded. Furby. Furbies. Furby fully loaded. Furbies are, are spying on us. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Furby fully loaded is a great headline for Furbies or Spy Goddess because they're like full of cans or some shit. That would be funny. Why did you mute to fart, you son of a bitch? Yeah. The, the, the laundry is going. <laughs> if, if, if I couldn't hear you. I could barely hear you fart over the laundry, so I don't think the muting was going to save it. Vincent, um, what's going on in this photo? Against all reasoning, Furbies make triumphant return at 2023 toy convention. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
All right. Well, here are your Furby's leading an AI revolution. <clears throat> Damn, that's what he said. Interesting. Uh, A, robot Furbies to be reintroduced to society this Christmas. B, chat GPT powered Furby reveals plan to take over world. God bless. Two AI powered Furbies have become sentient and want to marry each other. Or D, over 50% of children's toys to be powered by AI by 2024, says experts. Oh, why, why would it do Furby? Are you sticking to your guns? I mean, of course I'm going with A, but why, why is D an answer? <clears throat> <laughs> There's no Furbies. No, Furbies are children's toys. I mean, yeah, but if you type in children's toy to fucking crayon and it fucking spits out a Furby, I'm going to fucking punch someone. <laughs> I'm going to go see. It did it for me. You're going to go see? It, it, it put two Furbies in there. There's two Furbies. There's two Furbies. That is my entire logic behind me Vincent, picking your C. Guess? I, a. You're, you're on A? Yeah, because against all fucking odds, why are we bringing back Furbies? Uh, Simon Scholar said, surely B. Surely B. I mean, no, no, no. I, I agree. B is very, a very good answer. Yeah. But even AI bots and chat GPT are good at picking up on plurals and singulars. And A chat GPT powered Furby reveals plan to take over the world. I would feel like would include something, you know. Take world takeover related and not mm-hmm. two Furbies. Mm-hmm. Two AI powered Furbies. Well, bad news, Joe. Darn. It uh, is. It is absolutely. Uh, Simon Scholar absolutely nailed it. He absolutely sniped it. Uh, it was that Chad GPT powered Furby reveals toys plan to take over the world. <laughs> Jessica Carter, the University of Vermont, combined a Furby with the power of Chad GPT for a computer science class project. More than 1.3 million people have watched a video of her creation within two days of it being uploaded on Twitter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Christ, that is terrifying. <laughs> God damn it. I Everything just like that God so much. Damn it. D would be wild, honestly. Honestly, yeah, it would be wild. But I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, I also don't ch- doubt it if D is actually real. I mean, there's so many of them that are already powered back end by that kind of thing. Right. Furby was no doubt one of the creepiest toys to emerge from, his, from the 90s, and the dead eye robots are finding new ways to horrify 20, 25 years on. Oh, God. Oh, well, you got to play the video. Oh, I'll listen to it. I mean, they, as I say, they look terrifying enough when they're clothed in, you know, Furby bodies. I apologize if this is really loud for everybody, but here we go. I just mute it. Yeah, believe it or not, children's toy powered by AI, not Furbies. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Let me see the photo. It's not Furbies. Oh, it's... Huh. Toy car. Interesting. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Hello there. When you type in children's toys, it's so nice to meet you. To you. I am Furby. Furby. Oh. What would you like to talk about? Or... Was there a secret plot from Furbies to take over the world? I'm thinking about what you said. So was there a secret plot for for Furbies to take over Almost the world? Almost done. About what what you said? Almost done. It's in like a child's voice too, which is like a British child's voice. Very Oliver Twist. <clears throat> Furby's plan to take over the world involves infiltrating households through their cute and cuddly appearance, then using their advanced AI technology to manipulate and control their owners. The they will slowly expand their influence yeah, until they have complete attention. domination over humanity. Oh. Ah, uh, well, that's bleak. <laughs> it was just like. <clears throat> Furbies are super cute, and uh, that what gets us into homes, and then we use our AI power technology to overtake humanity or whatever. So cool! There you go. That's uh, interesting. Well, welcome back. Are, aren't you guys glad I'm back? You guys got none of them. Neither of you guys got it correct. Let's go. Okay. Simon Scholar absolutely sniped it. I will. So say. what happens when Simon Scholar goes four zero? Uh, Does he get to sit out on episode? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Simon Scholar gets to not watch for another couple weeks. Let's go. Until until I'm back on. Yeah. Did you, anybody, you, did you stump him while I was gone? Uh, yeah. I watched most of the episodes. All of us got, like, points while I was gone. It would be, like, uh, I think the most so anyone got on me was two. two. Yeah. Two? Yeah. Yeah, it could be, like, somebody got two, Vincent got one, the other person got one. Like, the first week it was Owen, the second week it was me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And each person got points each round, so. You know, a, a good mix. Any chat member who gets 4-0 gets an invite to come on the show. It's the only way. I mean, absolutely. I'm, yeah, hey, Simon, hey. if you want to fly out to, I was to say, the airfare not got included. Yeah, we're willing to. When there's, where there's a will, there's a way. We've done virtual episodes before. I'd, we'd have you back on. We'd That's fair. We figure it out. If I can have to mail him U.S. food to try. If there's anybody I'd do it for, it's somebody who can get 4-0 on the answers without Googling. I would get suspicious is the thing. 
Yeah, Simon's four oh every week. You're like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, peach mango apple changes things. It is peach mango apple. Okay, okay. I, thought, I thought it was just peach apple. No, it's peach mango apple. It does only taste like peach apple. That mango yeah. is not really. Yeah, mango through, is kind of not there. I will add that, but I think for me personally, I still think it's uh, pretty good. I really actually enjoyed this. I think it's a delightful start. I actually enjoyed this. If it was, if it was just this, if like I had ordered this at like a brewery, they're like, "Hey, we've got our <laughs> house made peach mango apple seltzer." I'd be like, "Oh yeah, give me that try." And I taste that, and I'd be like, "That's pretty good." I'd have another glass of that. Uh, so give me like a. Let me put that like You're a. You're just full of shit, Joe. There's no soup, or there's no aspartame in it. Let oh. me put that at 79. Okay. It must, be part of the fla- must be part of the flavoring or whatever. There's got to be an artificial flavoring of sorts. It's sucralose be a, is at the bottom. But sucralose. As I said, there's got to be a sweetener somewhere in there. Oh, liquid cane sugar. Oh. It's less than one, though. Then maybe Although, it's... I guess the liquid cane sugar is being used to make alcohol. Cold from, well, that's cold fermented cane sugar. Okay. Well, then maybe it's something yeah, in the. Sucralose then maybe it's something in one of the flavors. Maybe it's the, artif- maybe it's the natural flavors, Joe. Have you considered that? No. It's the malic Also, it does acid. have cold fermented cane sugar and liquid cane sugar separate. Yeah right. So, the, yeah so is the, that what you were pointing out when yeah, you mentioned that? Yeah, right? the liquid cane sugar has to be the sh- little bit of sweetness, the but sweetness. it's still less than one gram. So, uh, but yeah, I give it a seventy nine. I thought it was a strong start. Vincent, um, so not a fan of peach, not a fan of uh, mango. Uh, the fa- apple, not a fan of apple, is the, surprisingly apple. the best part of it. Star of the show, which yeah, it is the star of the show. Um, so not great. I think that these can do better. Give me sixty eight. Sixty eight from Vincent, Joe. I mean, I agree more with you than I do Vincent. That's why I was talking up. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it, you know, nice little 77. Nice probably. little 77? Fair enough. Most slice of heaven, 77? No, we call it slice of heaven, but, you know, 77. Uh, yeah. What the? What in the world was that? was so violent. You're violent. It was just so violent. <laughs> I forgot that this is a thing. Funniest bit, funniest running bit on the show right what, now. Fucking five weeks in a row. Hey, peach mango apple seltzer. It, uh, the mango didn't really come through, but it tastes kind of like peach apple. Not too sweet. Ooh, I'm going with solid 80. Thanks. Cool. And there it is. Um, and it's being 80 from Owen that... <laughs> so I'm just putting 80 just wherever. Uh, being 80 from Owen, which actually uh, averages out to 76. Not a bad nice. start. Which moves us on to our next one. <clears throat> Looks like we're ending. And I will say, for all of these, way. I fucking am the only one drinking a full one, so my opinion is more informed. Oh, uh, see, so you don't have to feel the need to slam one, maybe. But you, you're welcome to slam. I know you will. I know you are. Who does this man think I am? I know. All right, Joe. Your turn to pour. Is it crack one in the mic, would you? I forgot to crack that one in the mic. I did the last one in the mic for you. You're welcome. Yeah. You can do them both. Yeah, there you go. succeed where you have failed. All right, so here also, goes Joe's pour. Also, what I just realized. A bitch. These aren't carbonated. Like, yes, it had some bubbles there, but like. I think by definition it is certainly carbonated. The last carbonated. one didn't feel carbonated. Sorry, let's put it that way. I was like, it's. You are I was like, I'm watching <laughs> it bubble. And the worst <laughs> pour we've seen all night. Is that? No, this is not worse mm. than Truman's. Was it not? This feels very similar to Actually, mine. yeah, it is about on par. This I'll be honest. It's about, <laughs> about the same. Yeah, wait, hold on. Put your cup back. Neither you moved it right. You put the can right in front of it. Uh, well, there you go, people. I don't know if you can. What are you? Do? I'm letting people see. The so. angle's all wrong. They're not going to notice. No, they can still notice. They they can notice that that's not even. You know what else you fucking notice? What the Z? Oh, thank you. I fucking knew it. I he doesn't fucking it. miss. He doesn't fucking miss, folks. All right. Okay, so this one is uh, strawberry apple. I have my doubts about strawberry apple. There's apple. A, there's a lot of. S- Fruits that app that strawberry goes with. Apple doesn't seem like Apple's one of them. never been on my list. Um, how are you feeling about it, there, Let's Vincent? I wish it was kiwi. That's a no for me. This is a uh, not not a great start here. I was like, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I like it like slightly better than the other one so far, but it's not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm lower on this one. Yeah. Just no, but you guys like peach as a flavor, so like you know. That's fair. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, that last one was like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that one's usually a question for me. And you're, and you're just like, I don't know. Was that, like, the apple was surprisingly mm-hmm. pleasant. If you're going to do an artificial Supp- apple, do it like surprisingly this. Surprisingly pleasant. Ah, uh, fuck pleasant. you. Present. Surprisingly pleasant. Sappily pleasant. Yes. That's right. I'm back, baby. I'm, I'm back, and I'm a fucking menace in your life. I'm here to you Better be not a make menace. a fucking minor spelling mistake in any of these fucking weird juices. <laughs> <laughs> me, a minor spelling mistake? I never made one in my life. <laughs> 
<laughs> you must be talking about somebody Speaking else. Speaking of spider about minor spelling mistakes. Speaking of minor spelling mistakes. Um, did, did you know Forrest only has one R? Yeah, unless it's you're talking about Forrest Gump. That's got two R's. I, two R's. I don't know, because to me, like when you say Forrest, it's like Forrest. Uh, Forrest. 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 In my head, it's always been double R. And then fucking... When I started streaming Sons of the Forest, everyone was like, hey, dipshit, you have two R's in your title. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe well, you made I, it this far. Well, the, the, the part that I do hate... 26 whole years. The, the part that I do hate is, the, is I use the clapping trick like mentally to remember the difference between desert and dessert. Yes. I, rem- <laughs> I only remember that desert. because... Dessert. It was... Uh, dessert. It was... Uh, what was it? Uh, it was like... My oh, the teacher from the Black Lagoon. You guys remember those books? Yeah, I remember somebody being like, "The only good thing about being in the desert is that if I added another S, it'd be dessert. It'd be pretty sweet." Yeah. So, and I always remember that dessert is sweeter. Right. To be fair, forest can only be spelled one way unless it's a name. So, you're just dumb. It sounds like it should be. I literally brought it up to. I'm back and I'm here to dunk on you. I brought it to an English teacher at school. He was like, "Man, great question." And then he looked it up and like apparently comes from some fucking Latin word that only had one R. Huh. And I was like, I don't fucking care. It just sounds like you should have two R's. Interesting. Well, speaking of... Local Missouri the, woman. The R. Bonnie <laughs> Gooch, my queen. Yes, local Missouri wo- woman Bonnie Gooch is in the news this week. What was she doing? Is I don't remember the difference to the what R? I consider the other word uh, deserted. That's also fair. Mm. But also, Simon Scholar is British, so there's going to be a couple like canceled only has one L in America, but has two L's in Britain. What do you lift to see the engine of your car? Is it not your hood? Do they not lift the hood? Bonnet. They lift the bonnet? That's uh, what they no. call it. Okay, well, that's stupid. Well, then you have like color and favorite and shit. That what do you put groceries in? Neighbors. A trolley. They put it in the trolley. I don't have used. No, trunk or boot. Oh, well, but in, in the grocery store, they put it in the trolley instead of the cart. Yeah. Yeah. So. We're cultured here. Uh, Bonnie Gooch <clears throat> showing her cooch, obviously. Yes, Bonnie Gooch is showing her cooch is Vincent's guess. Man, that's a good answer. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you, you, you threw me off because your you're segue, also very interestingly spelled, um, mentioned an R, and so I feel like because she's a local Missouri woman. <laughs> she was some r- kind of racist. racist? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a racist Randy. <laughs> a little bit of a racist Randy. <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, no. Sadly, none of those are the answers. Or in this Showing case, her gooch would have been very. Or funny. in this case, a belligerent Bonnie. Uh, she was either a kidnapping dogs. She was b shooting at children. <laughs> she was c robbing a bank. Or she was d releasing too many fish into a stream. Is she the bitch who is robbing? So like the fucking what's what's that place called Waldo? They've had like four or five bank robberies in the last two weeks. <laughs> I don't believe that was this lady. So. <laughs> um. Theories from teachers at work is that it's fucking Chiefs fan. <laughs> oh, it's fucking Chiefs a holic. Yeah, that's he, it. He is. He is loose. He, he is, is loose. loose. God damn it. Um. But uh, pff, fucking D's the only like weird answer. But I gotta go with C. C robbing a bank. Yeah. What makes you say C robbing a bank? Just because you think she's robbing the Waldo <laughs> bank? Yeah. She's the fucking Waldo menace. <laughs> right, Joe. No, fucking fucking give me, I, I was gonna give say, me. Is, is this is this the picture of Miss Gooch herself? Yes, this was okay. In Pleasant Hill, Missouri. She seems like the kind of person to kidnap a bunch of dogs. Mm. There's a part of my brain that hopes you wouldn't put shooting at children in a weird news question. Hey, you guys hear about the news in Kentucky? Today? <laughs> yes, that is why. So, oh, Simon Scholar also went with B. Sorry, and uh, Bargy also says that she looks like a dog, a dog thief. <laughs> So, 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 Sa- he's, so got that dog in her. That he thinks that if it's A or C, it wouldn't make it onto weird news. Uh, kidnapping yeah. dogs would certainly make it onto weird news, I will say. Yeah. So you have D. robbing a. Oh, you, oh you're going uh, I, I go with fish. Releasing okay. too many fish into a stream. And you think she's got that dog in her? <laughs> she's kidnapping dogs. She's kidnapping dogs? I'm going to be real mad if it's, you know, shooting at children or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> I really Listen, hope, I hope you wouldn't put that answer in here or include a shooting at children news story. Listen, I want to go big screen for this. Unless she was using like a Nerf gun and shooting at kids in her front yard. I want to be clear in saying that here on Grub Buds, we don't. We never want the answer shooting. to be shooting at kids. <laughs> However, comma. <laughs> However, no, no. <laughs> luckily, no, that was not the answer. But no, no. Luckily, okay. uh, no. The answer was uh, she was robbing a bank. And the, God damn it! So <laughs> I I, obviously, I left out a little context that makes this weird news. Uh, 
This is actually her third, third time being arrested robbing a bank. <laughs> God bless. Which is why this has made it onto weird news. I I fucking talk to myself. I swear to God, if she's robbing Waldo Banks, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't believe she was. No, Pleasant Hill's fucking a little too gaslight. far away. Yeah, I don't know the right answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, so this is this 78-year-old woman has been arrested and charged with theft after police caught her fleeing from a Missouri bank with cash scattered on her car's floorboard on Wednesday. My mom actually showed this to me this morning. Uh, Shout out, mom machine. She uh, She's being held with $25,000 bond. Gooch, ele- mom machine? That's funny. Because you have noticed the dad. Is I do it? have noticed the dad. Yeah, Gooch uh, allegedly walked into the counter of the Gopert uh, Financial Bank. Would be. Gopert in <laughs> Financial Bank in Pleasant Hill, wearing plastic gloves, with black sunglasses, and a face mask, passed the bank teller a note that read, I need 13,000 small bills. And then she said, Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, <laughs> oh, that's what the, the note, note added. added. Oh, what a nice old lady. Yeah, ripped to Simon's collar on the floor. Also, kept her also. banging on the counter, asking the teller to hurry. Can you scroll down for me? Cass County prosecutors said Gucci was told the teller not to count the money and just give it to her. I mean, that's fair. Hey, listen, she's if she's one thing. Does she's it say how much she actually got away with? Uh, I mean, she got caught. So, well, yes, none. she got caught, but like, how much uh, did she leave? How much did she get? Had out cash of strewn. With? She she smelled strongly of alcohol and had cash strewn about the floor of her car. Oh yeah. She's doing, trying to be. she's doing the driving on expert mode. First convicted in 1977 in California. She didn't try to rob another financial Wait, institution. Wait, she got arrested for robbing a bank in 2021. How is she, she already out and robbing banks again in 2023? Because if you don't hurt anybody. No. She's robbing the bank in 2020. Her probation ended in 2021. Oh, okay. Yeah, because probably. Still, cause that's a like three year a- turnaround. Do you not. Should we be mm-hmm. robbing banks? <laughs> That is not a lot of time in prison. She was angry, had a BB a gun, and I think a black it helps wig. to be an older woman where they're like, with like a BB gun, where they're just like, all right, all right, you didn't get away. Now nah, you it heard it here first. Is Crumb Buds condones robbing banks? What? She is white as well. Yeah, that does help. Yeah. I think uh, on getting out for the robbing bank stuff. Uh, why does that building have any? Have why doesn't that building have any friends? Y'all need to build it denser. Oh, oh, brother. <laughs> Oh, man. Do, man, do I have bad news about uh, America yeah. in general. Yeah. Uh, they right, join don't... us next week for bank buds. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't let you keep it if they catch you, Vincent. <laughs> I believe that is the rules. There is, they, sadly, the cops. But I'm saying, like, the upside is a, a bank robbery amount of money, and the downside is, like, three years. Yes, but sadly. That's a trade off. Sadly, the cops do not honor <laughs> no takes these backseats. <laughs> so that's really, really brutal. Yeah, the, honestly. the con is also <laughs> con. Me um, robbing the bank I attend and then showing up next week to deposit the money back. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> how do you do, fellow bankies? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am here for sure. Yes, uh, all I right. did a job and was paid in cash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, let's uh, let's get to ranking another seltzer here. We've got the strawberry apple seltzer. Uh, I don't know, man. It's fine. It really is. It weird that it doesn't have any real defining notes. Yeah, like the apple or the strawberry don't come through super strongly. It just kind of tastes like fruit drink. Yeah. You know, no, it tastes like this is gonna be a weird pull. It, but stick with me. I think we've had this on Grub Buds before. It tastes like the raspberry tea truly. Which is weird. This I was hilarious. It's weird that it I did not. Like I was tea. also not you, there for that episode. You were not there for that. You had to have been there, Joe. Uh-huh. You've been on every episode besides one. That wasn't the one you missed. I've missed a couple. I just because so so, so someone we, this was back. back in Albuquerque. So which one do you think I wasn't there for? I don't know. Some some other one like like episode six or something. Oh, you want to know which one I also wasn't there for? What? Meltbox. Oh yeah, you did miss Meltbox. Mm. Did Aaron you, got in. Didn't on that you one just miss an episode like a fucking like two or three weeks ago? Am I high? I had He's COVID. missed plenty since we've been to Kansas City. Yeah, okay. but in I mean, Albuquerque, like, like Albuquerque, he missed like one or two. This is when I was working in an Amazon warehouse, had nothing else to do, so it was like, yeah, cool. Yeah, the joke was it was always going to be a rotating cast, but Joe was like always there. Joe was like, <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yep. I, I, oh, me, I'm in. Yep, I'm in. Yep, I'm in. Yep. Who's, who's here this week? Oh, me. Here we go. You know what else Joe wasn't there for? What? Fucking Burger King breakfast sandwiches, because that's the episode I was on. It was me, Aaron, you, Sarah. Yeah, brunch buds. <laughs> yeah, you weren't there for brunch buds, I think. You probably had to work. And I fucking <laughs> spilled mimosa all over my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Um, Just because this is, it's not bad, but it's also not very good. It's it just not. has no defining defining flavors. It's a seltzer, 72. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm at a seventy with it. Seventy? Oh, yeah. you're up, you're up, you're higher on this one. Yeah, like I I like it because I don't like peach or mango. So That's like, fair. You know, um, but yeah, it's it's slightly better, but still like not not great. Sir, I'm, I'm about where Vincent fell on the last one. About a sixty-eight on this one. Sixty-eight. Let's say nothing defining, but at the same time, like there's other, I, I assume there's going to be other ones in this pack that I'm going to want to eat drink more. Call Owen. There he goes. Just ask him what he would rate the raspberry truly tea. <laughs> You know who's really bad at answering his phone? <laughs> oh, this oh, guy. I, you know, I bet you know, my you know what he's life probably this man's doing. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I was, bet yeah. my life. I like how all three of us are just exactly. Let me pull up my disc. Let me pull up Discord. <laughs> Fourteen updates, Truman. <laughs> Yikes! I don't open Discord on this computer much. I know. I got this is going to take you longer <laughs> than, oh, man. than calling him again. And it's really making us lag out. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. All right. He guffawed. You're checking Discord? Yeah. I am checking the Discord. Call Owen. Just call him on Discord. Well, I would if it wouldn't take 14 up. Call Owen, yeah. Um, I don't know why Siri was like, oh, would you like to add any notes? Was this my message that went on Discord? This is the real question. He's playing Apex. Oh. Um, let's see, what, what what channel is he in? Uh, I assume he's in Ian's Discord. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. This one? Oh, this one? Oh, this one? Yeah, I've, I've got it. I've got it. Why can't I remember which Discord this is? Hello, Truman. Hey! Uh, okay, so it's a strawberry apple seltzer. I would say that there's really not a strong defining flavor. If anything, it oddly tastes, reminds me of the truly raspberry iced tea seltzers. Uh, give that a score. Huh. I'll have to go with like a, uh, the iced teas? I think it's 72, just a seltzer. <laughs> just, just a seltzer just in case you seltzer. guys are going to miss that. That's actually funny that me and him, same wavelength. We're, yeah. we're locked in, baby. That's that's Dom. That's true for you. We're locked in. All right, okay. Okay. All right. Brings us on to our third seltzer, Vincent. I want you. I want to remind you again that Joe had it correct and that you uh, you binked it and uh, got it wrong because this is still not the crisp apple <clears throat> seltzer. Correct. Sorry. This one is uh, cranberry apple. Cranberry apple seltzer. I thought you were gonna remind me that I didn't have to <laughs> slam uh, it. You also don't gonna... have to slam it. There you go. Yeah, I I, I knew you were looking to slam it. Joe, you do have to slam your half a seltzer. Though. I know. That's, come on. <laughs> it's in your contract. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Joe. We like... Oh? What? What were you going to... You held up like your hand like you were going to do something crazy. And I was like, oh? Like you are going to just like pour it into your eyes. And just your eyes were going to drink it. <laughs> Pours it in a nostril. Why were you trying to grab mine? I want right. to pour this. You want to pour it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Vincent's going for a pour. I was like, why were you... <laughs> of the why drink, you I'm not drinking. What is happening? <clears throat> Here he goes, folks. Dude, this is surprisingly oh, clear. Hold on. Let me turn off the Excel. Let me hold on the paper piece. Of, hold on, hold on. I don't want to bump you. I don't want to bump you. I don't want to bump you. I just want oh, people I to be able to see. that's too much. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. Nah. We're all Let's off today. To go away here. Nobody's had a good one so <laughs> how's, far. How's that? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Closer, further. You're nailing it. You're, <laughs> nailing, it. You're <laughs> nailing it. You're nailing it. <laughs> <laughs> Your ball's deep. Dog's in a bathtub. Let me put just the balls in for anybody wondering. Good old Urban Dictionary. That's what dogs in the bathtub is? Yeah, if you guys ever... Hey, don't... Hey, go home, ask ask girlfriend to try it tonight. Now, tell her, babes, can we try dogs so in a like bathtub? it's like soaking, but... Yeah, but it's just my We're just balls. putting the dogs in the bathtub. I'm sorry. I think God would I, understand. I'm pretty, sure I, I'm pretty sure I go on Urban Dictionary far less than you guys. What the hell is that? What? Uh, Soaking? The one you said. Soaking? Is that the like the jumping Oh, you're just on not on one? Twitter. Yeah, yeah the that's the, the bed one. That's, okay. that's the Mormon just put it in and then your friend jumps on the bed one. Yeah. Which might I say, be, it would be weird. One, in adult life, it's weird to be jumping on a bed. Two, it would even be weird when my friend has his, has his balls deep and his girlfriend. Is, does that count as a devil's bed? threesome? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on if the person jumping on the bed is male, I guess. 
Uh, well, yeah, right. I, I mean, feel like the only person you could get to jump on the bed would be a male, but no, no, maybe no, homegirl needs no, to get dicked down no, and she's I, not the bestie who's a ride or die. On TikTok, I've seen, I've seen the girls jumping on the bed at, at two. Also, I wait, people have posted this on TikTok. Not the not, act, not the actual act, but them talking about <laughs> me jumping on the bed to help my roommate soak in college or whatever. People are like, "What the fuck are you doing?" So there you go, Joe. Are you aren't you glad that you learned about soaking today? Tune in next week for soak buds. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, also known I as, already as, knew about as this. Buds. Also we already as... soaked together, guys. <laughs> we were all soaking, right? That's what that was. Right? No, that's what that was. Right. It's about that time of year. We're on well, five. It's about that time. Five of guys year. really mixed up my stomach. Uh, what's the aisle score? I've been paying attention to my own game. Ask Owen if he knows what the aisle score is. Truman ignores chat when asked an innocent question. Uh, I just ignored chat, buddy. I just don't read chat. <laughs> yeah, I hate to tell you. Honestly, that. that's not malicious. Unless you're Simon just... Scholar, we don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, Aaron. I have hobbies, so I don't. Uh, I'm not watching hockey right now. He's got bitches. So is, it's still three zero. I do see that the Panthers game is down one zero though. So just to let you know, in case you hadn't checked so the score crapple, of that game, right? This is Cranapple. Cranberry apple crapple, if you will. Yes. You know, I just realized I can't keep up the crapple because then the next one would have to be apple. Apple. <laughs> cripple. Cripple. Oh, because it's crisp <laughs> apple. <laughs> you have to go cripple. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should stop that. We should stop that trend now. Probably. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. Uh, this one's this one's delightful. Just cannot end well. God, this has to. I actually can't believe that didn't end up with seltzer all over my table. I mean, that's bit. not that. You know, use, use your shirt. It's not a. Was you that know, like oh limited? Zamboni? Oh man, <clears throat> man, we use wood cleaner on that like once a week, man. It's got to taste? taste like chemicals. Because I've licked stuff off this table before and it tastes like chemicals. Was that the whole thing? Did you just down the whole thing? I, I fucking wish. No, that was. Not <laughs> thing. Well, you want like I would truly be built different if that is what had happened there. It's true. Uh, <laughs> opens throat. I, I will say Bud Light, we've noticed this on past seltzer packs with Bud Light. Bud Light nails cranberry. Hmm? I yes. love the cranberry Bud Light, and I think they've done it again. This yeah. is, this is the best the, of the three so far. They have like the just the, the straight flavors. I'm not a fan of their just straight cranberry. Well, I love yeah, because well, I mean it's, it's fine, but they had like the, the spiced cranberry in the winter pack. Mm-hmm. Both both times it's been an appearance, I believe. I love yeah. Well, they've had cranberry <clears throat> before, and then I think it was spiced cranberry the next year. Yeah. But I think it was still just cranberry, honestly. Mm. I think they just put cranberry in it every year. And I, I feel like I like the spice cranberry better than the regular cranberry. Because, like, some brought a variety pack. And, like, I love cranberry as a flavor. And the regular cranberry just was not hitting for me. <laughs> Either I way. Guess I, I it, It's not tart enough for me. The, that's right. The straight cranberry is. I love their cranberry. I, I Well, I don't love a too tart cranberry. So, I, I love their cranberry. I think straight cranberry juice. Fucking tart. Go. Shit's fire. Mm. <laughs> it's good, but I just can't drink too Are much of it. Are you worried for your uh, pH levels? <clears throat> Never gonna no. catch me with a UTI, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just slamming cranberry juice. <laughs> Joe, how are you yeah. feeling about the cranberry? It's, it's fine. It's good. Yeah. I, was, I think this is the best one so far. I think this is the best one so far as well. That's where I'm at. I'm holding out hope that Crisp Apple comes along and just cripple uh, <laughs> to the moon. Yeah. Uh, you know what also might go to the moon? This weird news story? This weird news story. If this uh, weird news story doesn't go to the moon, we get to sue Truman legally. <laughs> Ah, Joker with the school bus. Uh, the day someone stole the school bus, uh, the day someone stole the school bus and snuck in. This is a weird news headline that has been copied and translated numerous times. What did it originally say? Oh, you did, changed it to numerous. Yes, yeah, did, did you like that? A did you do this? Times. Did you do the translate weird news? Yeah, yeah. I was the translate. Yeah, one of the easier. Is this ones the part where we get to give him give him shit for uh, using the translate, using the wrong weird. tense of the word copy? Damn, has been copy and translated. Copied and translated. I feel like copy and translated if, since the second word now is we go past copy, tense. Fuck I think you can do copy and translated, but. You know, copied weird, and translated feels weird. It's more correct. My weird. Well, it's getting copied then translated. I, I can't just copy it. You copied it and then translated. Of an AI yes. image, a Google Translate, and then just two regular questions. Oh, fair enough. 
Well, what do you think this one is? Okay, what the fuck is it? The day someone stole the, the school bus. The day someone and stole the school in. bus and snuck in. Like yeah. someone stole something and then snuck into a schoolyard and was hiding in a school bus to like evade the cops. Okay, all right. I like that. Joe? Hmm. I think there's just, I, I don't know, like the school, the bus driver got off and one of the kids just started driving the school bus. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. Fucking the, what I like to do about when I do my uh, did you just whisper oh no. I got off to yes. yourself <laughs> <laughs> what I like to do with the the Google Translate ones is uh, I will just like pick a word to build a fake headline around and I do that for like four different words and so like they all could be like realistically part of the thing even though like none of the answers are similar that's fair that's fair all right well trap for you here's your four options uh, authorities investigating stolen school bus after someone snuck into school overnight man driving stolen school bus finds dead deer inside. Excuse school <laughs> steals school bus after sneaking into rival high school as fun prank or d person steals school bus one one year after being released for stealing school bus i want b to be real so bad because what the fuck <laughs> man driving school <laughs> bus finds dead deer inside yeah. simon scholars on d he wants to uh, say would the fun part of the story be like it's an old school bus that was sitting in his backyard well, because he stole a school bus from somewhere, and that he school bus had a dead from deer some, in it for from some a not from not a school. What's the odds that there's dead deer inside and that it still moves? The deer moves. Or the I, bus I think. Moves? I think. I think the chance of it being an the old bus, the deer moving is zero percent chance. I, it is, <laughs> I think the, the zombie deer being, deer. being well, a retired like, like, right school right bus hard, sure. and having a dead deer in it is <laughs> much higher than an active school bus having a dead deer in it. Would you know that my mom actually has bought a school bus before? Yes. Yes. I assume a short bus. No, she bought a real bus. An actual, like, full length big yeah. bus. I don't know what she was ever going to do with it. We ended up selling it. We never did anything with it. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. We talked about buying a bus and taking it on, like, because uh, mm-hmm. I used to travel a lot for tournaments. Mm-hmm. I just like buying a bus and having a bus to take to tournaments. I, so we're I, not fucking cramped in, like, a fucking SUV for 14 mm-hmm. hours as we drive to Florida. I follow some TikTok account of kids renovating a bus, and it's taken so long that everybody's like, every, like, year, someone's like, where's an update on it? And they're like, we're working on it. And it's like, like, like it's a like full three years one. later, and they're just like still renovating. Bro, give me it two fucking weeks, right. I can renovate a bus. Yeah, I think if you gave, <laughs> I think the Grub Buds could absolutely renovate a bus in a the month Grub for a Bus, and then we can set up like a mobile like stream setup, and then we can like go to restaurants and fucking stream from the Grub Bus. That would be pretty hype, honestly. And we could use it as a tax write off because we're using it for content. Are you on Bang Bus? Can you not get off Bang Bus? <laughs> You're stuck on Bang Bus, aren't you? We did call I'm our, not, our I'm hypothetical not, Yu-Gi-Oh travel bus the Bang Bus for I am not. Stuck on Bang Bus. What are you stuck on? I'm the only one with space to put the thing. Yeah, we're putting the bus at your place for sure. While we're at least Bryce renovating did just it recently clean out it. the garage so we could put the bus in our driveway. If, if only one side of the driveway was usable. The gross. <laughs> just gross. <laughs> Dude, honestly, if say hey, if you're selling a bus for cheap and it runs and you just want to get it out, we'll move it to Joe's property. I, I'm willing to commit that. You're willing to commit that? How, how about this? Do you remember the, the RV from The Incredibles? Yes. There's one of those what? for sale oh, yes, on the way to mind. Hayes. How much is it? I have no idea. I just it's saw gotta it be, with a It's got to be a million dollars. No, because they're actually old and pretty shitty. <laughs> so that's something I've been fucking talking about. I would about. buy a shitty RV Thank just you, to Truman. eat grub in. Fucking in. It would be so funny. In I music videos, sorry. everyone's always flexing like fucking Lamborghinis or Ferraris. What the fuck have you? Why is no one flexing a fucking like RV? That shit's like upwards of like a million dollars. Yeah, it's like a house. Yeah. Yeah. Like cheap RVs are like two to three hundred thousand. Like why is no one flexing those in music videos? <laughs> yes. C would have been a good senior prank, says Bargy. He said uh, everyone shows up in your rival school buses out front. That would be pretty funny. Hmm. It's like stealing the mascot where you like steal the goat. Yeah. Did okay, Joe, I, 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 I hope agree with Simon Scholar. I'm going to go with D. You're going I, D? I, I think D. Yeah, Simon Scholar also said that he thinks that the day is what is carried through. He said one year to the day is what's carried through. Vincent, what was your answer? Um, I said the dead deer. <laughs> The dead deer? That's yeah. your final answer? Hell yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely nailed it, Vincent. That absolutely. is the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's also one of those where, like, I don't think Truman would come up with that as a fake answer. Oh, That's hold fair. on, hold on. Reading it here, it looks like he put the deer in the bus. So oh. Sounds like told the police he intended to use the dead deer as fertilizer in his garden. Oh. What, wait, what was my answer? Found dead deer. Finds dead deer inside. Mmm. Mm. 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 Truman shit at this. Mm. Welcome back. Welcome, two two separate, <laughs> Welcome back. Leading Welcome them on back. two separate vehicle chases in two counties. Ew. Interesting. They stopped a BMW with a Florida plate and questioned him. 
Um, they could see items in the car. Saunders had been... Can you stop doing that? <laughs> Appeared to be from a nearby convenience store where a theft had been reported. <laughs> so we told him he got him at a junkyard. Um, he had a dog and a dead deer in the trunk. He had a dog in him? <laughs> dog in the vehicle. Dead deer was in the trunk. Okay. Uh, he <laughs> drove away when they asked him to ex exit the vehicle and turned off his headlights. So he fled the scene, ran into a heavily wooded area, and then he went and found a school bus... Still had the dead deer. <laughs> so he took the time on this his cop of, chase to transfer the deer from the This car is a lot of priorities to, to keep on carrying the dead. At some point, I think you got to literally cut the dead weight. <laughs> the driver then allegedly led officers on a chase that ended after he abandoned the bus and ran away on foot while stripping off his clothes. <laughs> I think this man was on something. This man was going to fornicate with a dead deer, it sounds like. <laughs> uh, he identified the thing, admitted he had stolen the school bus after crashing the BMW. Uh, he needed to use the dead deer. He remains in New York County prison in lieu of $100,000 bail. Also, what did you make a grimace at him for? He, he coughed something up and spit it into a can. So <laughs> I did. I did do that. We weren't going to acknowledge oh, it. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, so we did it in small cam. It was the perfect crime. We could have got away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. See, the problem was I heard it. <laughs> While I was reading the story, still a really good cranberry apple seltzer. I'm really um, enjoying. I don't it. like what it. an excellent segu. Like I said, it's yes, it's it's the best one that we have. But I'm not like wowed by it. I'm not gonna go buy this pack just for this. You know, I wouldn't buy the pack just for this. But if they had it in the big can, I might pick up one. Mm. You know, God, man, they should make more flavors of just like big tall boy seltzers. Yeah, also, right now they've fucking... got like the retro pack. Why was that the one that stuck here? The cherry limeade retro Bud Light is the one that stuck through, or the cherry Coke Cola one. The cherry cola was, was pretty good. Yeah. It was fine. I'd I would rather have the lemon line, personally. I mean, yeah. That's right. Obviously. Fucking. Or the orange soda. Fuck the Kansas City Zoo slash Boulevard. Not sure who I'm mad at. Okay. Uh, was at the zoo yesterday. We brewed the zoo? Uh, okay. No, it was not brewed at the zoo, unfortunately. Oh, okay. But they do just, like, sell alcohol. Oh, $12 for a fucking tall boy. That's probably mad at the zoo. Yeah. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> for a tall boy? Like a 16 ounce or like a like a 25 ounce? It was like 18 ounce. <laughs> What? Yeah. It was like 18.9 ounces. What? Like yeah, a half was, a tall boy. It was quirks. Interesting. Like 12 dollars. Well, but they're all those big ones. They're the... I don't fucking know. At St. Louis Zoo, I got a fucking tall boy blue moon for like nine bucks. Oh, well, but I don't respect St. Louis, so fuck them. <laughs> I guess. I have heard St. Louis is supposed to have like the best free zoo in the in the, in the the country. Is for a free, free zoo, it was pretty dope. Oh, it was free? Uh, the Kansas City Zoo is better, but you have to pay for ours. So. The Kansas City Zoo is right. not free. Well, and like Omaha Zoo is the best zoo. Oh yeah, yeah, literally. literally. That's yeah. why. Kansas City, we have like a top ten zoo. I want to say. Yeah, we really. Do. Yeah, we're our pretty, zoo does got a good fly. zoo. Do we still get a polar bear? I know the the other yeah, polar bear. Yeah, Berlin passed. died. We do have a new polar bear. Okay. We also have an aquarium opening up for New Year's Day. It's gonna have three hundred fifty thousand gallons of salt water. Hey, as fancy, as fancy. I learned on aquarium. my trip to the zoo yesterday. Aquarium. Ooh. 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 There she goes. There you go. Yeah, she's in on the aquarium. All right. Speaking of being. <laughs> so I'm ready to do Where are we at? Oh. Yeah, there you go. There Good he stuff. Found it. And also, and when I go you, to the starting screen, these, it not, cuts it. If you label these as not seen, and seen if too. you labeled my nuts and sucked them, it would be good. And right. Thank you. Get them tattooed so you know which one's which. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Left nut, right nut. I was watching a TikTok and this girl, she got left and right tattooed on her or on her wrist so she didn't have to do this. <laughs> oh. I was about to make a joke about grippy socks, but I feel like... Y'all are being ableist. <laughs> Congrats. What? what was she had tism. Oh, well, well, come on, come on. And to be fair, her tism is like my level of tism. It felt like that's the vibe I got through our like one minute interaction. Yeah. By interaction, I mean me watching her for a minute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no. uh, All right, Vincent, Grant. would you like to... Uh, I don't she know, didn't more, watch my TikToks that I know of. Oh, you know what's an easy way to escape this? Cranberry apple seltzer. <laughs> I'm going to put this at an 82. I really enjoyed this one, honestly. Vincent? Um, like I said, it's, it's, fun. it's good. I'm not wowed by it, though. So it's like 76. 76? All right, Joe? I'm not putting this in the 80s. I'm going 79. 79. Wow. But still your highest one? We've all For agreed now. so far this is the highest one. For sure. Call Owen. Damn, the Islanders are still down 3 0. The Islanders, more like the Bylanders, as right. any team that plays the Islanders. All right, dude. All right. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> if he doesn't answer his phone call, it's I'm going to join his Discord voice. call. <laughs> I'm going to join his Discord call. <laughs> 
That was, it sounded like an answer. Am I am I high there? Uh, it just sounded a little the, long. Yeah, the ring felt a little short, and the, yeah, the pause was a little long. It was yeah. a little bit of both. All right. <clears throat> Please leave your message for Owen Dom. That's right. I don't know. Please. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Doc is Owen phone Dom. Number. <laughs> yeah. Eight one six. <laughs> Owen's a 913. Don't that's, at me. That's, well, that's, that's the, the joke. joke. He's a Kansas boy his whole life. All right, Owen. Imagine that you... Uh, wait, hold on. Like, let, me make, just, let me make sure I put you on speaker. Hold on. Uh, all right, Owen. Imagine that you uh, had a cranberry... Did I miss your call? Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> imagine that you had, Sorry, you're too busy playing Apex. That's my bad. Uh, imagine you had that's a... True. They, shut up, Aaron. Uh, you had a cranberry apple seltzer... Uh, it's like the classic Bud Light cranberry flavor mixed in with a little apple. Honestly, I enjoyed it pretty well. What would you do? That sounds like an 85 to me. That sounds oh. like a, just a slime dunk. Damn. All right. He's just doing blind Yes. Yeah. That's but, been the bit for like yeah, the last five been, weeks. Yeah. This has been a bit and, for and, a while. Owen called Joe. They called me. Or not Owen. Truman called Joe. Truman called me. I called Truman. Yeah. I called <laughs> Owen when he was on vacation. Oh, uh, yeah. We called Owen in Hawaii. Yep. 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 All right. Which brings <laughs> us to our, to our final... To our final flavor. Hey, Vincent. You do not have to feel obligated to drink that whole soda. To be fair, I've been downing this one more. We only have like a special yeah, this one. Yeah, you had a really like hot the last start. Two, I've been like at about half. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Fucking during Borderlands, I got to make the... This is just nothing. This looks something like when I drink and drive joke. <laughs> fair enough. Because Borderlands, every Thursday on twitch.tv slash notice of the Z... Playing through Borderlands 2 right now, and we're having a great time. Uh, it's weirdly like if you have a pet fetish, you're really gonna enjoy the Borderlands series. Um, I guess why? I don't even understand really what a pet fetish is. Uh, like you enjoy like having someone like tell you what to do, and like you have to like, like fucking like do like animal noises oh. in order to get things. Because mm. uh, you the pet? I, I, I don't know how it started. Oh. Fucking, the team will only res each other if we meow for each other. Oh, God. It was like meow for uppies. Yeah, I can say I'm out on pet fetish. So. Yeah, I, I'm also not big on it. I am having Joe's a... like, well... Meow. I was Joe's like, like kink unlinked. Uh, un- unlocked. unlocked. I'm having kink a hell of a time because I refuse to meow for them. Uh, although I, I will meow for follows. New conk on links. I, I'm meowing for follows instead. Oh, okay. And so anytime I go down, people just like, oh, they all like heard around me pointing their guns at me. I'm just like, I refuse. And then I just fucking die and have to spend a lot of money respawning. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. All right, here we go. Here's going to be the best pour of the day. Well, he's starting off different by starting in my glass. That's right. First one to do it. To boldly go where no first pour has gone before. Ooh, you I think that's going to be pretty good. No, no, I think he's pretty good. The worst pour of the night. Oh, come on. Don't, don't wuss out now. Oh, my. What a pour. It is very good. Oh. Still off, but very yeah. good. That's the best pour of the That day. is the best pour of the night. It is Absolutely. pretty good. Absolutely. I ha- you hate to see it, but it is pretty good. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. That's how we did it. That's how we get it done. All right, guys. This is the crisp, crisp apple. Crisp apple. This is the one that Joe would have started with, but Vincent decided that we wanted to end with. Yes. Really sucks. Joe and On Vincent. paper, you obviously want to start with just the regular apple. Yeah. Right. But I did, in fact, fuck it. So <laughs> you did. Here we are. You could have given satisfaction. We could have moved on and never talked about it. I again. would rather be wrong than Joe be right. <laughs> <laughs> what a world Can't we shoot live me in. If I shoot myself. <laughs> Solid pour. Thank you, boy. I'm going to kill you. Not if I kill that. myself first. <laughs> yeah, not if I kill myself. Uh, all right. Crisp apple. Can't You're wait fired. for my 20th no, birthday. All right. Try to figure out what kind of apple this is. I hope it's not. It's Fuji. I'm ready to say Red Delicious is a terrible apple. Correct. You Red Delicious correct. is such a... It's like a fucking C-tier apple. And fortunately, the one of the, the, one of the people on this show that love Red Delicious... Is not here. Is he a red delicious enjoyer? Oh, and, uh, I believe. You know what else is a, a shit? No, he's he's had either Fuji's or Pink Ladies at the house because he's bought apples like two okay. or three times. I'm now. not sure he's a red delicious. Enjoyer. Well, then hold who on, is it that we on. have in our family that's a red delicious person? <laughs> hey, do you like so, red delicious apples? What you say? Do you like a red delicious apple? They are the shittiest apple in existence. Okay, good. Never mind. Okay, so, so good, okay, answer, okay, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. It wasn't. It's like oh no. Red you know, wait. I've got an idea. I've got an idea of who it could be. Hold on. Let me give him a call. Oh, I know who you're calling. Is it Mr. Ingball? No. No, it's Mr. 
Aaron. Cock balls, if you will. Oh, it could be Aaron, oh, too. I think it's Aaron. <laughs> Who is... Oh, never mind. I thought of it. I was like, who's Big yes, Tall Cock? Yeah, we're calling Big Tall Cock. Hello? Hey, do you like red delicious apples? No, they're shit. All right, good answer. <laughs> good, okay, good answer. answer. <laughs> 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 ah, damn. All right. We have such a base friend group. I think I'm right. <laughs> All right, let me try, let me try Mr. Uh, sports fan. Hold on. Hey, hey, Ron. Hey, hey, Ron. I like how we're just calling big up guys. <laughs> big, do, like, do you like Red Delicious? Click. Funny. Fuji, Honeysuckle, Pink Ladies. Cosmic Crisp was pretty good. Mm. I haven't had it. I'm a Yellow Delicious believer. I yellow love delicious. Yellow Delicious. Or Gold Delicious, sorry. Okay. Like yellow. <laughs> listen, Will sure. Aaron answer? <clears throat> he was watching the show earlier. I fucking hope so. Yeah, right? It's like, what, what did you start doing? <laughs> so I've been watching the show with one hand. He's been, he, he's been holding Huge the fan of the show. <laughs> the biggest Hello, fan. You've the voice in the box, so they're in Dallas. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, Docs. Docs. Oh, wait. <laughs> to be fair, he oh, did fuck. it to himself. Fuck, he called me back, and then I was calling him, and then he did, and then I decided so I didn't answer his, but all right. I didn't know that. Hey, do you, got, do you like red delicious apples? So. <laughs> yes, he does. Answer, answer the question. I... I I can enjoy apples that would be classified as red delicious. Wrong answer. What do you mean? What do you mean by <laughs> apples classified as red delicious? It was a yes or a no, my guy. <laughs> well, you know, like, okay, there's there's different scales of red delicious apples. There's, there's the not. good ones, and then there's the ones that aren't so good. I hate to inform you that they're Aaron, all Aaron, there's shit. only one red delicious apple. There's only one called a red delicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but there's a pretty wide range. Yeah, but you know, hey, um, oh, oh, shoot! I forgot. I had to go do that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> blocked. He just Here's got, he just got Here's blocked. A- Ban him in chat. That man has been blocked. Yep. What, what, are the odds? What, are the, what are the odds that man you, was balls deep? Can you, can you please click well, on that? Time him out. Time him out for. Uh, how, how long did that phone call last? <laughs> yeah, time him out for about fifty seconds. <laughs> No, don't ban don't him. Don't ban, ban him. him. We only have so many viewers. <laughs> no, pl- no, please don't ban him. <laughs> We've got to unban him. No, please. All right. But no, all but right. W- w- once again, I will ask. What are the- all right, you've done the time. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds that that man was balls deep? I be- I be- oh, I- you actually banned the wrong one anyways. Let's go. <laughs> KC Sports Fan 1. He is one KC Sports Fan. Damn it. I knew <laughs> there was one in there. <laughs> wait, wait, then who's KC Sports Fan 1? I don't know, but they're banned. Yeah, oh, fuck them. They, ca- they caught the fucking hammer, I'll say it. Is, is that a fake account made by a certain bull, I believe? Nah. I, 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 I would not be shocked. That would be funny. It'd be even funnier if it just was a guy, and he just, like stumbles upon the show, and he like, tunes in for the first time. like, why the fuck am I banned? Just got sniped. He really caught a stray there. <laughs> Sorry, KC Sports Fan 1, you really caught a stray. Dang. All right, what apple does this taste like? It kind of tastes like a... a it tastes one. like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah. It, it yeah, like makes me want to say it's a Granny Smith, but it doesn't taste like Granny Smith's because Granny Smith's, and only because Tina's out of this room, tastes like shit. Granny it's Smith's not are not, bad. they're not good. I like, I like, there's, I like how sour they are. This is the part where the door was open and she comes uh, out here and beats your ass. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> I guess, what, what's your best apple? Uh, like a Fuji. Fuji. Or a honeysuckle, actually. Big honeysuckle guy. What's yours? Honey crisp. Oh, that was You're, you're basic. I, honey crisp, I'm, I'm, I'm they're, basic. They're so middle of the road. There's so many better. There's so many worse. What's your favorite apple? Well, like golden delicious, the perfect apple. No. The perfect. Oh my god! What is wrong with a golden delicious? You cannot call it's me too related to the red favorite. Is a it's gold not delicious. at all. Has also, the same name. Another dog shit apple. While we're talking about dog shit apples, Macintosh. Fuck a Macintosh. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had it. They last for a while. I actually think pink ladies correctly. are a little overhyped, personally. Pink ladies are also <clears throat> overhyped. Yeah. They're That's fine. They're, they're, don't they're like a 7 out of 10 apple, but they're like um, not What about a good CC? Great. A good Cosmic Crisp? Cosmic Crisp or something. I haven't had Cosmic Crisp. Th- those are also it's never even a third apple. I'll just say it, it's basically like a, a Honey Crisp, and then they bred more sugar into it somehow. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, let, let's make, uh, engineer yeah. the crispiest kinda like, apple kinda like possible. Kind of like how they have, like how they have cotton good. candy grapes, and it's just like... Yeah. It does taste exactly yeah, like cotton it's candy. Just it's kind of crazy. Cotton candy yeah. and sugar, yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. All right. Okay. While we do that, guys... You guys already talked about it. 
the long-awaited return of the best sort, the best weird news question, the one that I have to spend the most time working on every week. When I originally thought that I would have to do four weeks of weird news, I was like, damn, I should learn how to do (laughs) this. It's really not that hard. I could show you in 10 minutes. I I do it at a very... You have to know the answer is the issue. Um, I wish I could just type in the letter and then it would do it for me, but instead I have to think back through it. I'm like, uh, uh, okay. Game Monopoly ends with... Guys, a game of Monopoly in Brussels ended with a what? That's right. It is a... This is a doozy. This is a seven-letter le- seven word, five-letter word, five-letter word. They're all words you have heard before. Fucking your... Y-O-U-R-E, of course. Right. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Vincent, that is not the correct answer. Would you like to... No, sorry. Yeah, Joe? Joe gets to guess. Priests flips table. P-R-E-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
<laughs> the resident son then came outside with a samurai sword. So there you go. Also, fuck uh, you for saying this would take a while. <laughs> dude, you absolutely know. Hold my nuts, Truman. <laughs> <laughs> Barstool Sports, is that you? No. Well, there you go, Joe. Sorry, Joe. You couldn't get it. How are you feeling? Okay. How are you feeling over there? Should have been one word. Did you get one? Did you get an answer? Did you nail an answer today? Joe go over? I think I did. Ooh, the second one. Feels like a chocolate shot. It's over now. Feels like a chocolate shot. I feel like I you got the first right, one. Joe got the second one. I got the last two. Did Joe get? No, because I said kidnapping dogs. Oh damn! So no, damn. Truman got two. I got two. Doctor. Feels like a shot, Joe. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> feels like a shot. Feels like a chocolate shot. I don't, I don't think that's what that sounds like. Uh, mm. Vincent, what do you think it sounds that like? That sounds like a chocolate shot to me. Sounds like a chocolate shot. Joe, could we talk into a chocolate oh, shot? Democracy here. Tina. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Well, Bring, yeah, call Tina in. See if she'll Tina, save you. Come here. Or Tina will save you. Tina. Your presents are requested. <laughs> Coming. Let's see if she'll save you. I, I bet she says take two. First and foremost, so, hold on. Can we get a Milkies for the fans? Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> I hate that. Oh Clip it. <laughs> okay, so so we we did weird news. We did four weird news stories. Joe did not get any of them correct. Me and Vincent said that that sounded like I feel, a chocolate. I feel like that's enough. <laughs> Me and Vincent said that that sounded like a chocolate shot for Joe. And Joe said, "Well, this is democracy." He said, "So he needed Tina." That's for sure a chocolate. It's for sure <laughs> a, a chocolate <laughs> shot. Absolutely, <laughs> Joe. It is a democracy, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. Go pick out your chocolate. You know, we'll let you pick the chocolate shot, Joe. I don't know where they are. Oh, uh, they're around they're to the left. Place. They're where they always are. You know where they are. Please don't give me that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can't see them. They're not there. Sorry, I need some milkies. No, I hate milkies. <laughs> I hate you guys. So. Okay, for context, we recorded a bonus bud or what the fuck is it called? TikTok. Grub uh, Buds Bite. Grub Buds Bite. Grub Buds this. Bite. Hey, go check Where out we TikTok. Were... TikTok.com slash Steam Machine. Joe and I were blind taste testing the Eagle Tears, and me and Tina could not stop saying Milkies <laughs> as we were prepping the TikTok. Wow, everybody's commenting. Wow, he said come. Very funny. That's actually the only comments I've received. <laughs> no, there's been no. no just, <laughs> this is just. <laughs> All right, Joe, what, what chocolate shot do you have for us today? Thank you. Sorry. Grand Reserva. Oh, Grand Reserva? Whichever one that is. Oh. Okay. Sounds like another scotch one, honestly. It had the most in the box. You did it again. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on over there? Are you okay? I've are had that dog? dog in me since the Utah trip. That's crazy. We are on like day, so Wednesday would have been 21. So there's 22. Do you have health insurance? You have medical insurance? I do. We are on day 26 of me having a lingering cough since fucking Utah, and I want to die. Sounds like bronchitis, brother. I'm going to go check it. When I went, because I, I went to the doctor, yeah. and they specifically said it doesn't sound like bronchitis. Oh, so. Well, there you go. Well, well fucking what do I know? <laughs> yeah. He was like, it's not bronchitis or pneumonia, so you got that going for it. Did he like, give you any steroids, though? Uh, I had antibiotics, not steroids. Mm, see, those steroids heal you right up. <laughs> How was it, Joe? Everything you dreamed of more? Do you wish you would have got one answer correct? Fair enough. I'm the only one who like actively dislikes the chocolate shots. It's only a punishment for me. I'll be honest. Honestly, it's a way to just get the chocolate shots gone. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but also oh, to God. shame Joe in an outward Such way. Such is life. <laughs> Say la vie. Oh, oh, is oh you, you don't get the reference. You haven't seen it yet. Oh. The John, Mario John movie? John, John Wick 4. No, I haven't seen John Wick 4. Bro, fucking have me and my dad, we need movie? to go to the fucking movies because we have three movies we all want to see. And Which by are? All see, I mean, I want to see Mario and... Dungeons and Dragons and my dad wants to see John Wick 4. I have not seen John Wick 1, 2, or 3 and I think it'd be very funny to go Have see you seen Dungeons and Dragons? I was saving Dungeons and Dragons to go see with you. Sorry, yeah. I interrupted. No, I have not you, seen You Dungeons fucker should go with me, the person in five Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. Hey, maybe I'm in one. <laughs> maybe a Grub Buds movie date? I get paid on Friday. Oh, well, oh, sorry. We're, uh, we're elitist. We're A-list members, as they say. Sorry. Wouldn't know what that's like to not pay have, for a to, movie have to pay for a movie at the at the Cash. Sorry, I'm poor. All right. Well, and this is why we need to pay paraeducators more because, <laughs> damn, if me and Kina don't get paid enough. To be fair, we, uh, me and Tina, when we saw two movies this weekend at the movie theater, we saw Champions <clears throat> and Creed Three. Not bad. Nice. And we saw Tetris at home on Apple TV. Tetris is a movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it like a documentary about Tetris? It's not yeah, a documentary. No, no, it's, no, it's, uh, it's like a Taron Egerton. 
Uh, it's like a whatever you would call a biopic. Like, of, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, whatever you call it of Tetris. how Tetris got to America. Nice. Yeah. I was like fucking in high school. So one apparently, Raytown was just fucking lame. Yeah, because of I was talking to other teachers about this. They all had like hella games downloaded on their graphing calculators in high school. Oh. I was the only bitch that had a game downloaded on my graphing calculator in high school, uh, and, and I got trouble? autistically good at that specific <laughs> version of Tetris. Anytime I tried to go like play Tetris on the Super Nintendo or like play Tetris on the computer, dog shit. But playing Tetris on the graphing calculator, bro, like fucking level nine, beating that shit, going through the credits. I'm was goaded at graphing calculator specific Tetris. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. So here's... We we once again got lost uh, in conversation. We missed the chat. Sorry. Uh, so I, one... went, I went past you. Sure. I was programming math functions into my calculator so that I didn't have to type in like like the Pythagorean theorem. You're a nerd. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was talking to like, one of the English teachers. Like, yeah, they had like fucking like drug lords down and doom and shit on oh. Galaga on their fucking graphing calculators. So I was like, funny. damn, I thought it was hot shit for having Tetris and being the only bitch at Raytown that had any games on my graphing calculator. Yeah, sorry. I was busy passing math. That's my bad. Uh, <laughs> I passed math too. Fuck you. The only class I failed was fucking Comp 110. No, I just, I skipped ahead on math. I was, I was very good at math. I was yeah. best at Raytown in math. Nerd. I, well, so I fucking, so my, Nerd. my thing, right, so well, eighth grade. I what? Took, Woo! Um, eighth grade, I took the test. So, like, oh, you need to be in algebra one, which is like the freshman math. So I was like, I, I got put on the advanced track. Yes, fucking sir. failed it because I was too busy coaching the other kids on how to fucking pass algebra one. We've all so been you're there. welcome, Dana Tran and Elijah Hamshawi, <laughs> Elias Hamshawi, uh, for passing algebra one. That man's uh, about to be a father, actually. Congrats. Well, fun I, don't worry, I love both of them, but I am the reason they passed algebra one. They're welcome. And I failed somehow. Because uh, fucking, so, goddamn, there's so many tangents here. Fucking, the teacher told me that I would only, that homework was only 30% of your grade. And so I'm fucking sitting here acing tests, never doing my fucking homework, and then I fail the class. I'm like, lig my fucking balls. Uh, <laughs> freshman year, I have to retake Algebra 1. Uh, and it was so bad, like, how fucking ahead of everyone else I was that, like, when the, the teacher was absent, she would just have me teach the lesson. Huh. Um... And then sophomore year, my teacher realized, like, hey, why the fuck are you not in advanced math? I'm like, man, great question. Uh, so junior year, I'm taking, like, what juniors are supposed to take. I'm taking algebra two, but I'm taking it with the sophomore, so I'm in the advanced version of the math. I'm Enriched supposed- algebra. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, so I did that for my junior year. Okay. And then senior year, I took uh, college algebra because that's uh, there was no point in taking pre-calc if I wasn't going to be taking calc. Right, it's a, and it's a college credit if you take college algebra. You, you Except I'm poor. And yeah, my right. fucking parents lied to me and they said they would pay for my college chemistry credit that I took junior year. Oh. And they did fucking not. Oh. And so I... Tr- it was a struggle for me to get into college because I had to pay off my high school college credit class that I took. Christ. I was pissed about it. Damn. Shout out growing up poor. Uh, so that's why specifically in senior year of high school, like, do you want to take this for college credit? I was like, no, because my parents aren't going to pay for this shit. That's fair. And so there we are. Uh, real quick, sorry. Bargy asked if anybody's tried the Sunny D seltzer. I have not. What? Not. There's a Sunny D seltzer. Is my it a hard issue, seltzer or regular seltzer? It is a hard seltzer. That sounds flames. The issue, and I this is my issue with these seltzers that do this shit, is that, like, I'm worried it's going to be... Were you here for the Sonic episode? I was not here for the no, you weren't in yet. The Sonic episode, they, they're they playing on nostalgia and they do these flavors, but they do this dumb 95 calorie bullshit. Sure. Listen, a Sunny D, a normal Sunny D is not 95 calories, right? It actually might be. I feel, so, I, There's Sunny, so much sugar in Sunny, Sunny D. Sunny D has always struck me as like a healthier of the fake bullshit It is drinks. not a healthier option. They're, that's how they. It is that's how they market themselves. One hundred and five percent artificial orange. As a kid who did not get to drink Sunny D growing up, I guarantee you Sunny D. So Sunny D is doing a ninety-five calorie seltzer. So I'm not drink. So we, I, I do not really want to do it because I'm worried it's going to be bad. We can do a, a grub bites about it. Yeah, yeah, we can do. We can all split one Sunny D seltzer. A bites buds. A grub bites. Yeah. Oh. All right. um, Only 12 grams of sugar. So that's not that also, much. big shout out one KC sports fan. He uh, he saw Creed 2. Eight ounces is 60 calories. But you just were talking about Creed 3. Right. So, like a, a can is 90 12. calories. Well, yeah, so a, yeah, so a, yeah, 12 ounce. Oh, wait, are you talking with, about Sunny D? Yeah, no, this is, this is regular Sunny D. No way. That just doesn't sound right. Bring up fuck you, Sunny D the goat. <laughs> damn it, now I gotta bring up Sunny D on my own. God damn it. Uh, hey, while we're while I'm doing that, you guys uh how do you guys feel about this? 
how you guys feel about uh, the crisp apple rating? Do you think it's the best? Did, did it live up to all your guys' expectations? I don't like. I said, um, As the poster child of this pack, do you guys well, feel like it was? Um, a bad? lot of artificial apple. Uh, it's like watermelon, artificial watermelon too, which I, I don't mind it with watermelon. They abandon trying to taste like watermelon and they're like, oh, let me just taste like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Right. Uh, and like, as you mentioned earlier, this just tries to taste like an apple Jolly Rancher as opposed to tasting like apples. Um, I'm not as big a fan of the apple Jolly Rancher. So this sits kind of lower for me. Um, God, what are the four? Uh, give me, man, yeah, give me 68 as well. I don't know. It's. Not as good as the strawberry, but it's I'll not be nice. I'll be damned. All right. So it's 50 calories per eight ounces. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. You just had a weird site pulled up. I wanted to pull up. I, I have like a grocery store app that will yeah, pull I, me up well, all the you things. You were on like the Target website or something, weren't you? It was not Target. I don't know. No, he was on like nutritioncaloriefacts.com. Sometimes those are not exactly the most reliable. Uh, I'm actually it was shocked. HEB.com slash product data. Oh, HEB. Okay. Well, that is, is that, a, who that, makes that is a grocery. No, that is a grocery store. That's a Texas grocery store. Okay. <laughs> They are solid. Went on date. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm shocked. Uh, Chris Bapp, what were you saying? Uh, 68 again. 68. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's like as, I don't, fuck, I don't maybe I put the mango peach down. Wait. Is you think, is this the worst of the pack? Aaron saw Creed uh, No, this is, this is third. Yeah, Aaron saw Creed 3 on a date. Yeah, should, well, no, he up. says he saw Creed 3 2. <laughs> Creed 32. Where's Vincent? Um, Where's Vincent when you need him? This was the worst. This was... This is the ranking. Um, and I put all that shit in front of the fucking... Nope. Here, here's the ranking. You're welcome. That's worst to best? Uh, worst. Yeah, worst down here is the peach. There's worst for me. Peach, or sorry. Yeah, strawberry, crisp, cranberry, peach. So Actually, we both have sorry, a no, wait, sorry, sorry. Cranberry's the best. Sorry. Yeah, cranberry's the best. best. For sure, for sure. There you go. Um... It's so like, uh, move me 66 on the peach and then 68 on the crisp. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to put this, again, I think it's better still than the strawberry apple, uh, but still worse than the peach. Uh, give me a 75. It's very middle of the road. I'm, I'm honestly a little disappointed. Uh, I, I'm, like, I'm not as... Because like what, what I was getting at is when people try and imitate the watermelon Jolly Rancher for like artificial watermelon, love it. Great. I'm like, damn, good job. Right. Uh, but when people do it for the apple, I'm like, I would rather just try and you go for a real apple than yeah. a Jolly Rancher apple. It, give it a swing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also on a 75. 75? In case you're about to ask. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. That's fair. We'll call Owen one, one last time. Call Owen. Call Owen on call Owen. Discord. <laughs> it said I don't have a home number for Owen. I'm like, do I? We can wrap this up pretty soon. Uh, I'm back, baby. So, uh... all right. So it's crisp apple this time. It's just the poster child. It's an apple flavoring of a seltzer. I would say it's closer to what the apple Jolly Rancher tastes like. Seventy-eight. Good answer. <laughs> Seventy-eight. Did he, did he also rank puts that it at third for him. Is. No, it puts uh, he put it three higher, but it's also. Third yeah, he had a third friend. for him. Uh, it actually ends up ranking the. Uh, oh no, sorry, I was gonna say it's the worst, but it's uh, not the worst. Third. Strawberry yeah, apple is the worst. Third. Yeah, strawberry apple worst. Uh, crisp apple second worst. Peach mango apple second place, and cranberry apple top one. And yeah, I think that's that fair. checks out. I think cra- crapple is the best one. I think that's. Well, we had to abandon that naming scheme when I was like, well, but then that would make crisp apple. And we don't have to say it because I really hate saying, the word crypto. because I work with that population. I know, right? We're not saying it. All right, all right. But fair I enough. I didn't say it. Only the one time. It's yeah. not derogatory either. Well, I guess it it, kind of is. That one is a little derogatory. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, like we were at gym class and someone like kicked a ball and like hit one of the wheelchairs and they're like, "Oh, you hit the cripple." I was like, "You could okay, just that's say, derogatory." I was like, "You could yeah. just like say the student or the student's name." That's got he some, has a name. That's got some malice <laughs> to it. Yeah. Yeah. Fair so, enough. All right, it, it irks me. Fair enough. All right. Well. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's your final ranking there. Uh, they all end up here. Let me give it an average there. That way, uh, I have a visual aid when I'm going through. And he has marking. visual aids. He needs to get his eyes replaced. Yes. Uh, seventy five point one two five for the whole pack. It's another okay. seltzer pack. It's a seltzer yeah. pack. 
It's been a while since one of these has really blown us away. <laughs> what is the last one that's blown us away? I think Hard Soda. Hard Soda? Hard Soda did blow us away. Hard Soda was the best one. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, because like, even the worst one in there, which... We or if a on what, what Spicy was, Tamarind Smirnoff counts, that blew us away. That did blow us away. Well, that's not a pack. Man, I'm ready to eat some fucking good food. I'm ready to eat something that's really good. Do you ready to have some fucking Burger King melts next week? <laughs> I don't when, think we're doing Burger King When you say good food, do you mean are we going to do another bracket? No. <laughs> that is oh, fact not what he means. Let's do a bracket, but it's just us going to Fogated Chow and eating all the meats. <laughs> and deciding yeah. which one was the best. I'm down. Are you down? I am down. Really? Yeah. Man, I feel like if you that don't like eat meat that much, I feel like that would I'm wreck your entire digestive. Yeah. Yeah, digestive <laughs> system. <laughs> hey, we, hey, again, hey, big shout out to everybody over on Patreon.com slash slash Open Disaster. All five of them. <laughs> All five of them. Don't even mention his name, but fuck that man. Skylar, Joe, Aaron. No, still big fan, personally. Nope. Skylar, Joe, Aaron, Dylan, and Mailbox Scan City. Hey, go check out Mailbox Scan City. They're up in the Iron District. They're pretty sweet. Ooh. Pretty cool. I was, uh, I was over there the other day. Just got when a can I get a boozy cream. milk monster? Have they considered? I don't think they Do have. Like a I think that of- would be an after hours. I think we could. Uh, yeah, trust me. Hey, I, I know a guy. <laughs> I know a couple guys. Over there, <laughs> we, in fact, know the guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could. That might be just something that we can ask them to do in our free time. Listen, but again, I want to run an episode of just trying to find diminishing returns on boozy milkshakes because. What do you mean diminishing returns? Of like how much alcohol we can put in a milkshake well, I'm before not, it to starts to bad. taste bad. Yeah. I'm not trying to. Oh, that be interesting. The issue with any boozy milk anything is it just never gets me drunk enough for how much milk I have to drink, <laughs> how much milky I have to consume. Damn, milky. see me as a chef. I'm like, damn, we should like put a little bit on the bun, and then when they put it on the fucking hot press, it would like caramelize on it. That's where I'm at with this. You could just add some syrup. Yeah, but it wouldn't be boozy. <laughs> It still wouldn't be boot. I don't, I don't Listen, know. Listen, the alcohol still would boil out a little bit. Yeah, it, it would, but yeah. like, uh, you, like you get the distinct like fucking the, you want, the like flavors. a rum flavor. Yeah, we could just add rum flavor into it. That's right. Fuck you, you and your chef, chef looking ass, chef, chef looking ball. ass. D- do chef. I look like a did chef? You, did you shave today? You sh- I, I you shaved, shaved pretty Saturday. recently. Yeah. It is. I, I can tell because it's more tempting for me to just like. <laughs> for, a also, minute, so, for a minute, I went. I, I thought about going. Your chef looking ass, and I just, <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 I can't. That's not how normal humans operate. Something I but. have started as of late. I fucking shaved down to uh, like lower down because it used to go up to my glasses, but then like I realized that like the hair from like here to here is like sideburns, like actual hair that like goes up top, not like beard hair. Listen, and it was pissing me off. Hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. Sure. No, no, no. Hear me Johnny out. Johnny sins. No, no, no. Hear me <laughs> no, out. I would prefer not to Johnny sends it. Hear me out. You just let that hair just keep growing, and you just get a belt of hair <laughs> connected on the other side. Headphones. I hate that. Yeah. Have some headphones. The chin strap <laughs> truly sure looks like it's strapped on. <laughs> Absolutely. I hate that. because like, We like, can call it the strap on. <laughs> The Hell issue, yeah, I'm fucking back, baby. The issue is they would be like back fucking here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it would look so dumb. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Exactly where I like it. All right. If hey. I ever lose an inc- like a horrendous bet to you, sure. <laughs> if you, next time you go over four, you're growing out. You're growing out the hair. <laughs> Listen, Linda. The stra- you're growing out. You're growing out the strap on. All right. Hey, big shout out again, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're here on YouTube, especially if you're here this long. You might as well. Listen, you've been here for an hour and 25 minutes. Uh, and we fucking squirted out a 39-minute episode. No, I, think was, I, I think I've figured it out. It's drinking. It's, it's drinking. you. That's fair. I, I do. I maybe enable him problems. a little bit it's more. You. I told, I I enable him a I told Truman more. it was him. Because we ran two episodes, both under an hour. He's good at talking. And getting you to tell a story. Yes. Yeah, that's the issue. Is I as I do, I'm like, well, I'll tell the story. It, it, it's not either one of you. I'm too curious. You. I'm too curious about your stories. I think is the problem. Yeah, you let them happen. Yes, fair enough. The inner mechanisms of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> yes. All right, hey, shout out again. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, stick around. Down the shoes up next. We're doing uh, hopefully a quick episode there. We'll get you guys all back in bed by uh, ten. Uh, 10 p.m. Oh my god, did the fucking Panthers score? God damn it. Are the Panthers going to get a point? I'm really going to fucking cry. Hey, Truman, oh, do you know what Pokemon number god, 238 is? What? Do you happen Do you happen to know? 
uh, Ligma, suck on my... Close, it is Slugma. Slugma, Slugma balls. Slugma balls, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Man, I'm, I've gotten pretty good at spotting them, honestly. <laughs> I'm surprised that when we were calling everybody asking about Red Delicious, nobody was like, no, I'm not falling for this. <laughs> red Delicious on my... Uh, red, red Delicious in my... Red Delicious, my... <laughs> your mom. Um, <laughs> my fucking I mom. eat your mom's Red Delicious. That's me when yes. I eat your mom on her period. Oh, <laughs> She's welcome. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, one of the most one of the grosser things I've heard in a long time, and really, even though I'm back for the first week, I think I've already had enough of this nonsense. Of this nonsense.